Hey Claudia, I'm Jake with Camping World. We're standing in front of the 1995 Dolphin that we spoke of this morning. I'm going to walk you around the outside as well as the inside. I hope you like it. As you can see here, it's in really good condition. Um, like I said, the corporate's just making us get out from under all of our older uh, units. So this one just happens to be one of them. But the decals and everything exterior is in really, really good shape as you can see here. Even the baggage compartments uh, are still in really good condition. Cool thing about these is uh, National used the same baggage doors from their low end uh, motorhomes all the way up through their high end coaches. So you got these nice uh, fiberglass ABS uh, doors. As you can see, the hinges on them are still in really good shape and they'll hold them up. This is the uh, passenger side here. Or excuse me, driver's side. Uh, here's where your water system is. City water fill. Outside shower. There's also a drain right there so you can wash that compartment out and keep it nice and clean. This is where your dump station is right here. So dump tank does have a black wash, uh, black tank flush on it. So you just hook a hose right onto here and that's gonna rinse out your black water tank. Again, more storage. Tires are in good condition. These look like they've just been recently replaced. Another pass-through storage. This is uh, where your shore power cord is. Generator, it's a 5,500 watt uh, Generac generator. Your fueling for the fuel tank is on the driver's side here. Looks like it's got a little bit of a scuff there. Spare tire does have a, a hitch here on the back. It's a 5,000 pound hitch with the wiring. We'll climb up here. Show you the roof. Looks like most of the vents are sealed pretty well. I'd probably throw a little caulk around that vent, but got a little uh, solar panel charger on top of the air conditioner there in the front. TV antenna. I don't see any broken vents though. Actually, after, right after I say that, I see one here. Looks like this fantastic vent right there is uh, cracked a little bit. So that's the roof. Hopefully, I don't make you too sick coming down that thing. So. Again, this side's in good shape as well. Does have an awning. Uh, that's a metal wrapped awning. We'll look through all these compartments here as well. This one here should be propane, where your propane's located. And that is a 24 gallon tank. We'll fill that up when it leaves here. Got a little more storage here. This is one of, one of the pass-through storages from the other side. Good tread there. Another little storage compartment here. Another storage compartment here right in front of the door as well. Then you have the electric step. Front windows look like they're in good shape. I don't see any big cracks or uh, big chips. For five grand, this is a great buy. It's got a Ford V6, or uh, sorry, a Ford 460 in it. Right as you come in, you're gonna have your uh, light switches and everything right here, as well as a battery disconnect switch here. 
when you come in you got a chair here to the right cloth day and night shades that's your nightshade there fabric and upholstery looks really good this is a little pull-out tray here got storage above the passenger seat it's a DVD player here some more storage here small little TV you uh, have a generator start and stop switch here you have a stereo map light auxiliary light you have a start booster so if you ever run your chassis battery dead you can jump from the main batteries these are your overhead fans electric mirrors as well as they are heated mirrors as well it has a cool little CB there it's got just turned 90,000 miles on it so 90,064 miles and it starts up and runs very well have cruise control as well got a Pioneer uh, CD player there as well as it is XM radio ready The only thing I see is, uh, looks like you got a little hole here in the seat. Now that, that to me looks like a, a cigarette hole, but the coach does not smell like smoke at all. So I'm not sure that that's really what that is, but that's kind of what it looks like. Um, this sofa here is going to be what they call a jackknife sofa. So you got storage underneath it here. But the upholstery and stuff is in excellent, excellent condition. So nightshade day nightshade here plus you have a ton of storage this storage goes all the way along above the couch and also down into the kitchen area nice deep storage uh, area here and this is all real wood cabinets uh, these faces are so lots of good storage got a little toaster oven there solid surface countertops I mean this really is a ten or twelve thousand dollar unit uh, all day long so uh, filtered water there here underneath you have a little more storage place for pots and pans and stuff place for silverware and these are ball, little ball bearing drawers too storage underneath the uh, stove top here this has a little uh, cover for the stove top as well so three burner stove. This is where all your levels and tests and all that kind of stuff are. Then you have a convection microwave here as well. Dometic uh, eight cubic foot fridge and freezer. Now across from the kitchen is the dinette. You're gonna have uh, storage underneath the dinette. You got these little latches here and these nice drawers, uh, little cubbies pull out here. Now the table looks like it's got a little bit of a chip in it. Hopefully you can see that, about the size of a quarter. More storage above the dinette, coffee can or uh, coffee maker, more storage here. And on this side is just uh, storage, no pull out tray there. But you do have this nice uh, pull-out pantry here, which is cool uh, for all your canned goods and stuff. Now this door here will pull shut so that you can block off the bathroom. We've got a separate door for the toilet. A little storage above the toilet. And you also have this nice uh, shower, glass shower uh, here. And that's all one piece, which is really nice. That's the way they do it even in the high-end uh, $300,000 motorhomes nowadays as well. So there's no chance of leaks. You have a skylight above it as well, so that's going to make it a little easier if you're taller. You also have good counter space here. It's nice deep sink, so it's easy to wash your hands. You got good storage here as well underneath the sink. Medicine cabinet here behind the sink as well. They've added in a little uh, RV hair dryer, 
Got storage all across the back here. There's no sign of leaks or anything like that uh, around the windows anywhere, which for this age is really, really cool. Uh, usually there's always been a leak around at least one window, so this has been very well taken care of. Fresh water tanks right here, fresh water pump. Nice thing is, you said you're going to use this for hunting. This is all up here inside the coach where it's going to stay warm and not freeze. That's big for uh, being able to use it uh, up hunting. Now, here in front of the bed, I'm going to back up just a little bit so you can see it. But you'll see you got uh, two big closets here, plus six drawers, and then another uh, closet here. These are adjustable shelves in that closet. Little storage here if you want to put a second TV in, you can. And then the his and hers closets, which I call the hers and hers closets. So, really a nice coach, uh, very well built. Uh, the Dolphin was one of the Nationals best sellers. You got storage all across the back here as well. Nightstands on both sides of the bed with a little more storage on each side of the bed as well. You got 110 power on both sides of the bed if you have uh, sleeping machines or something like that. Uh, those will be, uh, you'll have 110 power there as well. And then you have a nice big fantastic vent fan here. For being up in the mountains, this is perfect because you can, uh, this will move a ton of air. You open up the side windows here and turn that on and it'll be plenty, uh, plenty of airflow for you rather than running the air conditioner. One thing I didn't touch on is uh, this is the original hardwood that came in the coach and it's in excellent condition as well. So. Claudia, I think you'll really like this coach. I think it's an excellent, excellent buy for five grand. The first time somebody sees it uh, here on our lot, it's going to go pretty quick. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helps out, and I look forward to doing business with you. Thank you.